This morning, police and protesters across the country are waiting for a decision in Ferguson, Missouri. A grand jury is considering charges against police officer Darren Wilson in the August shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown. Mark Strassman is in Clayton, Missouri, where state officials say they are ready for the public reaction. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Police overnight moved us back another 40 yards from the County Justice Center building behind me. Both security and tensions are higher here now that most people believe a grand jury decision is imminent. Seven miles east of Ferguson, 125 protesters and the police watching them proved overnight that it is possible to have demonstrations here without clashing. There were no arrests. Daniel Isom is the Missouri Public Safety Director. What we're trying to do is, is make sure that we have areas that are designated that people can protest and you know, express themselves, but we want it to be orderly. Isom has helped coordinate a security plan that involves local police, state troopers, and the National Guard. Feel confident? I have the expectation that things will go well, that things will be peaceful, that they will be orderly. The grand jury, made up of seven men and five women, must decide whether to charge Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson for the fatal shooting of Michael Brown. Potential charges range from murder to involuntary manslaughter, but the jurors could also decide not to charge him at all. This weekend, Michael Brown Sr. handed out donated Thanksgiving turkeys to needy families. This is a tough time for me. And just to give back, it's a good feeling. Brown has pleaded for demonstrators to be peaceful, regardless of what the grand jury decides. If the decision comes today, what are you going to do? At Christ the King Church on Sunday, Pastor Tracy Blackman spoke to an uneasy congregation. The anxiety level in the community as a whole is off the charts. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon declared a state of emergency here a week ago. Other than the grand jury decision itself, what could also affect protests this week are the Thanksgiving holiday and a forecast of cold weather. Gail? All right, Mark, thank you.